Okay, give them the confirm. Looks like they're both ready. Okay. Starting on three. Three, two, one, go. All right. So they are about to get started. Looks like they're ready to go. And they have started. We're going to start with Louis Audio. It seems like he's got the best. So the two runners today that we are going up against is Louis on the left, Brosis on the right. These bracket matches have been randomized, um, so it's fair amongst everyone. There is no... Oh yeah, this should be... My bad. That was fine. We're good to go. Yeah, uh, so Brosis uses a very interesting... Um, Scaling, but anyways, so we got Louie on the left. We got Brosis on the right the first objective They're gonna be looking for in world one is the tunnel the tunnel is the top left here The tunnel is worth 0.5 you guys. We're gonna we're gonna try and get 0.5 um, And again, this isn't 100% based on time you do get rewarded on time if you look oh I didn't get a death there That's weird. All right. Anyways on the bottom here, there's times that we have on the on the tracker here. If you get a 50, 52, 54, 60, first place, second place, all that good stuff. But we'll worry about it when we get a little bit closer to there. <laughs> no one has died yet, so we are we are good. The nerves. All right, first one up, Louis on the left. Let's see if he gets the tunnel. If he gets the tunnel, he is awarded 0.5. No, he missed his duck input. No. All right. This is a chance for Brosis to really get a good lead here with a solid 0.5. Not many points after this. Oh, he didn't keep the duck input. Ooh, you got to hold that down, man. You hate to see it. He can't get up in that pipe for some reason. I don't know what happened there. Drop. I dropped my controller, sir. I dropped my controller. You hate to see it. All right. Well, as these runners go super fast through the rest of world one we can take a look at world two right here on the side if you rem remember if you type in exclamation smb3 you can actually pull up the rules and information and how the points work and everything and kind of read through as you're going to get a better understanding and more description uh, that pretty much explains the uh the tracker here but anyways in world two level two uh if you get into the pipe with a 292 you get 0.5 and if you kill the boss in World 2 with a 221 or higher, you also get 0.5. So we have um, the most fun and exciting... The most fun and exciting thing about SMB3, which is airships. They go so fast, you know? There's so much fun. Don't want to don't wanna get make too much progress here. So, um, it seems that Brosis, in terms of PB, he is the underdog in this, in this matchup. So, what that means, I mean, if I was him, I would probably have practiced as many of the point things as I possibly could, and maybe have slowed down on some of the really hard, uh, speedrunning strategies. Um, however, I have not done any speedrun looking into this point system tournament. I don't know any of the, the strats or the meta or what people are choosing to do. So, I wouldn't know exactly what I would do because I don't think I would be the underdog to start. So, would I base everything off of speedrunning or would I try and go for the points? It's a very interesting mindset. Brosis not comfortable with the pattern, be mainly because he grabbed the fire up on the airship. I think because he grabbed the fire up on the airship, he's not fully comfortable with this. Alright, world one down! Ooh, baby! How are you guys doing tonight? Are you guys having a good time? I hope everyone's having a lot of fun. Hope you guys are excited for this triple Sunday header here. We got six games, three matches. Fantastic. Hope you guys are all having fun. All right. Louis is definitely the top tier runner. So this is going to be, like I said before, this is going to be a really hard match for Brosis. So I would definitely be uh, practicing for the points. Anyone who has under an hour can enter in this tournament. However, it's already finished you cannot sign up anymore but what you can do is prepare yourself for season two which is probably going to be six or seven months from now 
All right, here he goes. Louis on the left side trying to get that 292 in the pipe. 294. 290. Whoa! They, that is... Holy crap! Oh my goodness! A top runner like that, he does not get the reward for keeping his Fire Flower until World 6. That is very bad news. We got Brosis here, 295, 294, 293. He started running 292, does not get the 292. That is a tough point, I tell you. That is a really hard point. However, if Brosis can go slow and keep his Fire Flower power up, there is a point in World 6 right here. Right here on the left side. There's a three points. You get three full points if you keep the same power up from World 1 all the way until World 6. That is an incredible... So, Brosis right now has a really, really good edge. Remember, guys, it's not all about time. There's some time, as you can see at the bottom of the tracker, if you get 52s or 54s, first place, second place, based on time, right? You're good, but, man, if you get Jesus Clip, 7-7, seven, seven, and keep your power up, like, it doesn't... <sighs> it doesn't matter, I don't think. But you still get the points, so we'll see how it goes. Brosis had a little bit slow uh, fortress there, so hopefully he, he can uh, clean this up here at the next level. Okay. Dude, this is a crazy start, man. This is a crazy start. Oh, I don't know if Brosis knows the backup. If you just keep running forward, you can actually side hop off the uh, pile driver. Louis catching a break right there. He does not want to fight that music box. So having the music box land on the position and him being able to screen scroll over it is absolutely fantastic. That allows him to just pfft, right across. Doesn't even matter. So if you look at Brosis, he, he's got to figure out which direction he needs to go. And this is warpless. He does not need those music boxes. However, because this isn't fully based on time... It might not be a bad idea to grab the music box and put the Hammer Brothers to sleep in World 3 and not get Runaway Bro, right? Everyone knows about Runaway Bro. Alright. Opting out to do the fast level would make sense in terms of... routing. Brosis, see, he knows, man. He knows. He does not want to lose this power-up. If he keeps his power up to World 6, he could just single-handedly win this match based on that. Absolutely. <gasps> oh my god, that scared me so much. I didn't think he was going to make the gap there. I did not think he was going to make the gap. Okay. Alright. Ooh, Louie. Oh no, he got the fanfare! That is a... Nope. That is a... That is a minus 0.5 there, buddy. Sorry about that. Ooh, losing the points there. Fireworks, that's a no-no. You definitely don't want to get the fireworks. <laughs> oh, Brosis, he knows too. Four, okay, so 2-4 is famous for being uh, very hard to get the uh, the right card that you need. Damn, that sucks. That fanfare right there. You ate to see it, guys. Yeah, that's a big no-no. All right, so here's what's interesting. I'm, I'm not, I don't think Brosis is going to be uh, overly familiar with the fire kills. However, I know Louie knows the fire kills, but does Louie know the fire kill based on grabbing his power up on the airship? That is the question. So, uh, there is a big, big description of how uh, a crap ton of tricks work um, in in SMB3. Just in SMB3 vanilla speedrunning, that's in the write-up. So, if you type in exclamation SMB3 and you go for the points info um, link there, there's a whole write-up. Everything explains and teaches you guys all about how the fire kills work, how to do the clips, the manipulations, all that stuff. So, if you want to get really involved, it's all there for you. Does he get it? He gets it! Congratulations, Louie, for getting the 221 to 222 fire kill. 
Right on. Congratulations. He gets that point. All right. Let's see what Brosis does. I think Brosis will get to the fight before Louis gets the 3-1. Next point for Louis is if he gets the frame perfect jump at the start of 3-1. It's not that hard. It's just a single frame with no visual cue. I mean, come on, right? Who can't do it? Oh, he missed. Oh, no. That is, that was his chance, dude. The boss kills. All right, this is going to be a little harder. All right, Louis, are you going to get it? He gets it. Single frame jump. He gets the point five. Just when you think Louis is in, you know, just when you think he's behind from taking that damage. You like to see it. That's right, dude. You like to see it. That single frame jump, man. That single frame jump. All right, bro. This is your turn, man. You get, you got hit with the fanfare. Now you need, now you need to make it up. Now you need to make it up. Come on, Brosis. It's just a single frame jump. Oh, you ate to see it. You fall in the water, man. That sucks. That is very unfortunate. Again, like I said before, Brosis is the underdog. However, well, it looks like Brosis' timer is cut off a little bit. That That is okay. We know he's at, you know his timer is the same time as Louis. Ooh, Louis getting runaway, bro. That is why you want to get the Fire Flower, or that is why you might want to get the Music Box in World 2. But how I, I don't even think you would have been able to stop this. Nobody would actually Music Box after 3-1, right? You would wait to see if it was close. All right, Louis avoiding that coin ship. I think that's very good. I like to see that Brosis, even though he's the underdog, he is trying to do the fast P-Speed in 3-2, which is incredibly difficult. It is not easy. All right, Louis! Is he gonna go for door three? Get that point five. Let's go. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he doesn't get it. Too bad. Too bad. Nice try, buddy. Not this time. Maybe next run. Maybe next run. And uh, keep a reminder for everyone in chat. Uh, most of these tricks are first try. You only get one try at it, or else people would just farm for these points, and everyone would get a 59-minute warp list. But, 7-7. Seven, 7-7, seven. Seven, seven, you get to try as many times as you want, because... Oh! Opt in to skip here. Ooh, not getting that P-Speed. That, yeah, ooh, that is rough there. All right, bro, sis. Come on, buddy. Get that door three. You need it. You need it to keep up. Let's go. Oh, the moat of shame, dude. Dude, you, you want to know how all that water got there? That water w got there from all the tears of everyone trying door three and not getting it. That is all the tears that filled up the pool. Everyone crying. Um, yeah, sorry about Brosis' timer there. His scaling on his stream is a little weird, uh, which is okay, but I, I made it work, and his time is obviously the same as, uh, Louis, so don't worry too much about that. Alright, so, Louis, he did, he did some interesting strats to make sure that he did not get Runaway Bro. They're not bad strategies. Um, so what he did was he avoided the first Hammer Brother... Uh, to have one less movement happen on the map so that he could fight the other Hammer Brother faster. Because he already got run away and he was probably pretty scared that it would run away again. So I can see why he uh, opted. Oh, it looks like Brosis is going to go for the actual skip skip. Uh, which is interesting because... Why wouldn't you go for the fort in World 4, right? Even though it's a really difficult world, uh, you still want to go for it. That should be That should be pretty interesting. All right, are we gonna get the H? Are we gonna see the H? We see the H, right on, dude. Right on. Brosis is not too far behind in terms of time. Brosis is not too far behind in time. I mean, what if, what if Louis gets all three hands and Brosis gets none, right? Not only does he get the point five, but the randomizer final has already happened. It happened yesterday. All right, come on, bros, just get that H. All right, he got it. Turn back. 
He made the H. Guys, that's so hard, man. That's so hard to do and to do it in a race. Guys, give some love out there for Brosis, the underdog, nailing that H jump. Frickin' killed it. Frickin' killed it. Both of them got the H jump. They Well, what they should have done is gone for the secret cloud in that level. I don't know why they didn't. Okay, so next up is this very weird, silly point that I wanted to add in. What what these runners can do is if they kill Wendy at exactly 210 on the timer, while all three of her rings are out, they will get 0.5. Okay? I'm going to guess that neither of these runners are actually going to go for it. But I bet we're going to see it somewhere in this tournament somebody winning with that 0.5 right there. That is an extra 0.5. Yes, there is Wendy's point. Kind of trolly, but at the same time, it's it's if you learn it and you're comfortable, it's free points, right? It is free points. I mean, unless they've already taken damage on Fire Flower, so they don't have that. All right, Louie, are you going to go for it? No way he's going for it. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> he's going for it. Let's go. Going to get the double shot. There we go. Third ring. <laughs> no, so close. Oh my god, that is incredible. I can Oh my god, that was so close, dude. Hats off to him for trying it though. That is crazy. You ate to see it. <laughs> I just see Louie in, in chat. Impossible. Holy crap, that was close. He had it too. All right, bro, sis. Is he going to go for it? 2 4 6 8 Is he going to go for it? He's got the second stomp. Oh, no! The death, dude! He went for it and died, unfortunately. So we're going to have to ding him for the death and the no death reward. You definitely hate to see it. You definitely hate to see it. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't deny... Th Ooh, and it's behind the auto-scroller. This is no good here. Poor Brosis. Uh, I would say that the Wendy strategy is definitely, definitely something you will need to practice to get, to get, uh, you know, to get comfortable with. Losing the Fire Flower and then taking that second hit of damage. In his situation, if, if I would have lost the Fire Flower and there was only one ring out and I didn't get a lot of the hits in, I probably would have just went for the stomp kill and not have worried about it. I probably would have ran to the other side, you know what I mean? Get comfortable. Uh... Gain control of myself kind of thing. But very unfortunate. Okay, so world four points. Um, you need to get a time of ass in the first fortress. You need to get that ass time, which is a 288. And if you look on the uh, if you look on the tracker, it kind of looks like it says ass right there. You need to get the ass time in the first fort. Yeah, you need to get the ass point. Alright, so he needs to get a 288 in the first fortress. And he gets, he gets 0.5. And if you fight the star bro in World 4, you lose 0.5. Sometimes you get screwed over. Maybe you don't want to use the music box. Who knows? Okay, so it looks like Louis is not going to go for it. He does not have Fire Flower, so I don't think he can actually go for it. Unfortunately, he, he will not go for the ass point. That's okay, though. That's something maybe maybe Brosis can go for. You have to admit, Brosis is definitely tilted after that death. Um, but he should he should know. Uh, he should know there's so much more of the run left. And he should also know that it's not fully about time. As long as he gets under an hour, he should be pretty safe. There's a lot more points he can actually make up. He is far behind in terms of time, but okay, so it looks like, yes, Louis is going to use the music box. That ensures that he does not get punished with the star, bro. Oh no, bro, sis. Oh my, <laughs> that was, dude, I was so scared for him. That was really scary. Oh my gosh, Louis with the crazy backup strats. I have never seen that backup strat before. Yeah, he's playing it smart. That, <laughs> dude, the little Kaizo blocks there. Okay, we are we are in uh, backup 101 
you guys. These are backup strats 101. It happens, man. It happens. Oh, yes. Let's not forget about the marathon. All right, so Brosis entering World 4. He has an opportunity. However, there's nowhere for him to get a Fire Flower, so it kind of makes... Oh! What? What happened? Let me ask him. I need to ask him here. What happened? We got a white screen of death, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely not a restream issue. This is on his stream. Uh, is he on... His... Apparently his Nintendo died. So, it looks like... It, it looks like his run is gonna have to... Okay, warp back to World 4. Okay. Okay, yeah. Warp back to World 4. Okay. However... He is out of a lot of items. It's okay, bud. It happens to all of us. You're playing on original Nintendo. It happens. No, that's not a big deal. Um, you still want to keep going because you want you still want to generate as many points as you can. Sucks for Brosis. It happens, though. It happens. It's okay. So what's going to happen is he is going to get the first warp whistle in World 3 and then go straight to World 4. He is going to be lacking P-Wings. And all the necessary items, unfortunately, but, um... Make sure you keep those consoles off the ground and make sure Pooh Bear is not at your front door. Uh, anytime you have a Mario 3 race, make sure you look left, right, forward, and backwards. Make sure Grand Pooh Bear is not in your 360 vicinity. Because if he is, you can most likely guarantee that your console is going to die. Alright, so... Remember that, keep consoles off the ground and make sure you give the 360 look. Make sure Pooh Bear is not around. <laughs> so he's gonna get the warp whistle. All right. Um, so Louie is not gonna get any punishment. He's not gonna get any points, though, unfortunately. Oh, Brosis, you don't need... He only needs the one warp whistle. But all right, we'll let him go. It's hard to- it's hard to do all this stuff on the fly. <clears throat> yeah, I, I should mess this bros- bros this after and ask him if he did his, uh, patented look for Grand Pooh Bear <clears throat> strategy. Once he realizes he does not need two warp whistles... There we go. Okay. He's back in, dude. Good sport, guys. Give some love to Brosis, um, for reacting on the fly when your console screws you like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it happens. So, you know, you know he's telling the truth because his console turned white. If you reset, the screen goes black and flashes. And if he powered off, there would just be no feed. So, you hate to see what happens to the Nintendo, man. You hate to see it. Louie is not in the best of shape either, though. He is definitely giving Brosis a chance. Had Brosis not accidentally taken that damage on the boss in World 2... Combined with, uh, you know, the stomp, you know, he'd be, he'd be not so bad. However, it is in his best interest to try and collect as many points as he can. Unfortunately, I do not see Brosis beating this in under an hour. So we'll see how it goes here. And I'm pretty sure Louie just got a movement of four. You hate to see it, guys. Okay, so world five. Do not fall down the shaft of despair. Luckily, he avoided that. Jesus Clip, however, is worth three freaking points. Even if Brosis gets to World 5 and gets Jesus Clip, that is huge, dude. That is incredible. All right, and if you get no movements of four, if you get no movements of four, you get 0.5. You love to see it. And that's movement of four. See you later, point. Ah, what a ripoff. Dude, I would be collecting as many music boxes as I can. OK, 
Okay, he's cleaning up house here. Yeah, Brosis is killing it. It looks like he's gonna try. I don't think you can get 288 with with normal Mario. Ooh, he, op he got a little scared there, but that's okay. Well, he actually has to do this route anyways. Um, because he doesn't have the hammer or P-Wings. So, yeah, in, it's in his best interest to just go for as many points as he can here. Ooh. Did they switch and switch again? No, they didn't. Extra star, bro. That's not the end of the world, though. Oh, my gosh. No way! Is Bros just gonna get punished with Star, bro? Oh, <laughs> you hate to see it, dude. World 4 Star, bro, punish right there. Very unfortunate. Oh, nice 4-4 four, four by Brosis though. Bad RNG, guys. Bad RNG. Oh, <laughs> look out! Looks like Louie's making... Ooh, as I go to say he's making work of the pyramid. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Rosas is really making a pretty pretty awesome comeback. I mean, he's just bombing through. Like, you, you know he's got to be shook right now. Uh, unfortunately, got star, bro. Bad RNG. All right, so he's got his cloud. Louis will not get the reward of no movements of four. There we go. Now Brosis is get he's getting some items now. He's get he's got some P wings. He's got some uh, he's got some clouds right now. Does he know backup? He does know backup strats. Right on. He's definitely he's handling it super well. Me oh no oh my gosh I thought he was gonna fall in that gap. Ooh. Doing I have to admit doing five five with normal mushroom is very difficult, you guys. Very very difficult. Oh he's going back. He's getting the leaf. It's he want yeah he wants to do the top tier five seven strats. Oh no he's kind of in coin ship realm though he's pretty oh that was close for coin ship. Remember, guys, just spawning a coin ship, you lose your points. That's it. It has nothing... If he loses it, he could go for Jesus Clip, right? All right. Is he going to go for Jesus Clip? That That is some major points right there, guys. Major points. I got my finger on the trigger. Jesus Clip. Ah! <laughs> he tried to go for the duck jump. He gets hit with the no death reward and he died. So he is officially at one point, dude. Brosis. And Brosis gets Jesus Clip. This is incredible. This is incredible, dude. These the point system tournament. I'm telling you guys, speedrunning's cool and all, but I'm the points are cooler. <laughs> Absolutely, big swings, guys. Big swings. Louis, it looks as if it's not helping him. He's going for the music box. He needs it. If if Louis dies again, right? He, then he's down to 0.5 and he's only, you know, it's this is crazy right now. No, okay. So, uh, let me confirm for anyone who doesn't know. As soon as you hit the 1 hour mark in your run, your comp your entire run just stops. No match will ever go over an hour. Um, the reason I made that is because sometimes I, I lose interest in tournaments when one person takes six hours to do their run and the other person takes an hour and a half. Oh! Louis! No way! He gets the fanfare, loses the .5 right there. This is incredible. I cannot believe that this is happening right now. He is just getting snagged. He is down to .5. He was living the dream, man. He was so far ahead. Um, anyways, when you hit the one hour mark, your run completely stops. That's it. But all the points you have up until that point still get added towards your name. Um, 
And the reason we do that is because as we go through seasons two and three, which is, you know, every, every few months with this tournament, uh, we still want you to have a standing and points to your name based on average points per game, games one, so that as the seasons go by, you can be, you can be, uh, set in your own tier list. Like, oh, uh, who's, who's the best player in the tournament, right? And we've judged that on their average points per game, how many points they get, so... <clears throat> So that's essentially how I decided to have it. Um, Brosis has no idea how how leady is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pause Louie. And we're going to turn on Brosis audio. Because we need to listen for movements of four here. His audio is not as good as... His audio is not as good as Louie's. But all we have to do is wait to hear one movement of four. And then we know he does not get the point. It's a little quiet, but... It happens, and not everyone's audio is going to be the same, so don't worry about it, okay? Maybe we'll hear a movement of four right here, and we switch back to Louie. Doesn't get the point. Nope, no movement of four. That's good. He needs this, right? He's, he, this is incredible. He needs this. Okay, so we're going to scroll down here on the tier list. Oh, do not fall down that elevator, sh or the shaft of shame. Okay, so... Where are we? Uh, world 6 points. Uh, neither of them have kept their original power-up since World 1, so they do not get the 3 points there. Um, they do not get the 3 points there. They need to first try wall jump, and if they get the floor clip in Fort 3, that's 1.5. That is incredible. And there goes this movement of 4. You ate to see it, guys. You ate to see it. So if I was if I was Brosis, I would definitely go for Jesus Cliff. So Ooh, he almost died there. So that damage boost right there with the fire flower, that's the original damage boost that you need to do with the very first fire uh, fire flower that you have to get awarded that point. Right on. Congratulations, you guys. This is epic. Will he get P-Speed? He does not get the P-Speed, unfortunately. Ooh, what, what happened to Brosis there? He was just... He took damage or something? You don't want to die here, bud. Your, your chance with the Jesus clip. Let's go. Jebated. Yeah, he got jebated by the Roto disc. All right. Louis is opting for the very fast, very fast strategy. Remember, if you guys, if anyone in chat likes the idea of this and realizes, hey, it doesn't matter you're, if you're the world's fastest Mario 3 player, it matters about the points, you can start your training right now for this tournament for Season 2. All you need to do is get under one hour in Warpless and you qualify. That is the qualifications for this tournament. Get under one hour and focus on the points. Every season, I'm, I would like to change up how some of the points work. But in terms of Ooh, getting lucky with that cloud, that is nice. You actually love to see it. Don't die. Okay, bros, this is safe here. Safe. Oh, uh, yeah. To clear to clear any of the air. If, if you play a run and you get Jesus Clip and then you stop playing for 40 minutes to go over an hour and then get lose your lose your one point but still gain your two, you'll get disqualified. Those those are the kind of rules that go without saying. You know, you don't need to. <laughs> those are pretty obvious. You know, you can't you can't do that. We'll disqualify you completely from the tournament. You get get the heck out of here, right? We don't got time for that. And you won't you won't be allowed back in until season three or something. We'll kick you out for a year. Yeah. 
Yeah, get the heck out of here. All right, he's going for Jesus Clip. Come on, Brosis. Ah, he was so close, dude. Holy crap, why isn't anyone getting Jesus Clip? Everyone is doing it properly. I cannot believe this. That was his chance, man. We'll, we'll see, though. Because he, he only has 25 minutes. 25 minutes to get, get some points here. Oh, he's going for troll clip. Ooh, look at that. You guys, ooh, is he going to go for it? Oh, he, he, got, he, hey, he went for it, man. That clip is big points. So Louie didn't opt in for the wall jump, and he kind of tried for the floor clip, so unfortunately no points here. That's right, yes, no, no, I'm adding a death, I'm adding a death, it's right there. Yeah, don't worry, I got you guys. Should be, it is times two death, yep, he's died twice so far. Alright, here we go. I mean, I don't, I don't think I missed the death, right? I don't think I missed the death. All right. Here we go, right on. Oh, oh, oh! It's so scary being in between those guys. Freaking scary. Uh, anything NES related, just get it off eBay. They got billions and they're all cheap. If you, if you get an NES off eBay and it doesn't work, it, most likely you just need to replace the 72 pin connector. You can get the whole thing up and running with like 60 bucks. Easy peasy. Now your controllers. Oh! Dude, we should have an airship clip as one of them for World 6. A little more passive. But not yet. Maybe season two, right? We got lots of... And, and I, I also take lots of ideas, so if anyone ever has any ideas for certain points, uh, m make sure you message me on Discord. I'm willing to take many ideas, because every season I would like to switch up a lot of points. I'd like to switch up points. Okay, so in the upcoming worlds, we have 7-1 first try. Look at the, look at the uh, tracker on the left side. We have 7-1 clip first try, 0.5. 7-6 first try, 0.5. 7-7, one full point. And... 1.5 points if you get clip three and four first try in seven nine. That is incredible, you guys. That is incredible. No one's gotten any coin ships or off-screen wand grabs, but we leave them there just in case, man. We want to give everyone different options to get different points. Maybe somebody practice off-screen wand grab more than somebody else, right? Maybe Brosis is gonna go for it right here. Should definitely have gone for it, but that's okay. That is okay. So, unfortunately, Brosis does not have a hammer here. All right, seven, one, first try. My finger's on the trigger. And he gets it first try. Ooh, I bet Louis's like, oh, thank goodness. I needed that. I had on 0. 0.5 for the first try. It feels good to not only get it, but now you're rewarded for it. It's like, you know what? That's right. I should get rewarded for getting that first try. You know, we got to do that crap on, like, on these world record attempt runs. Oh, he's using a P-Wing because he doesn't want to use the star, you see? And I don't think Brosis has used the star yet either. So they should be pretty good right now. Damn, Patooies. Don't know why they didn't activate there, you know? Sometimes Patooies go up and down three times, sometimes it's two times, and sometimes it's one. Yeah, this one- ooh, taking that damage. That's okay, he's not dead though. Opting for the auto-scroller, that is... I think that was an accident? Yeah, he's gonna go for the death there. That's- I still think that's a smart move. Because he wants to get as much in as possible. I wonder if he's gonna take the pipe here. And use the hammer then. What do you guys think? No, that is a smart move. Okay. Alright, Brosis. He's gonna use the P-Wing here. 
Makes sense. So, Brosis is doing a level he's definitely not used to. Oh, we got a little bit of lag. Okay, we're still good. Ooh, I really think Louie might have moved too much. But we'll see. Unless Louie's going for the duck strat in 7-6 first try. But we'll see. See what he does here. Oh, he does not get the first try clip, unfortunately. You ate to see it, you guys. Oh, he's sitting there. Yeah, he's feeling good right now. He's feeling great here. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, he's having a great time right now. He feels good about this. He's smiling. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is the point for, for 30 tries or is it for... Okay, it's for first try. He almost got the... <laughs> nice job. Nice job getting through there. So his he's got some points here. He's going to go for 7-7 seven, seven here. Almost first try. He's going to go for 7-7. Seven, seven. How long is it going to take him? Holy crap, did you guys see that? He nailed it first try, but got bad RNG. That is unfortunate. As, as long as he gets it, he gets the point, though. You hate to see a timeout. That would be very unfortunate. Meanwhile, Brosis is making hard work here. Remember, guys, the runners do not have to go for this 7-7 seven, seven clip. They are choosing to to get the points. Not having a good time here. Ambrosis, he's got his inventory on track now. He is good with his inventory. Is he going to go for the despawn? It's looking good. Oh, he landed on the block. He knows the mistake and he fixes it. Okay, so that is an experienced player right there. He knew that that outcome resulted in uh, no despawn. You cannot run on that block. You have to run down the hill really fast to kind of collide all the sprites on the screen at once. Absolutely incredible. Louis is feeling wonderful with this right now. He is he is very happy right now um, because he's uh, succeeding with the clip after nailing it three times and getting bad RNG. He has 100 seconds left on the clock to nail this. If he does not nail this, like, Brosis is catching up here. Are they going to do this in an hour? 7-7 seven, seven is not easily tamed. It, it, we know this. We we know this from these. Oh, he gets it. Okay. 86 seconds left on the clock, but he nails it. Okay, he gets that one point right there. Absolutely beautiful. He got it third try. You'll love to see it. Third try is very impressive. All right. Okay, so it is clips two and three that you have to get first try. So he is opting for the strat of doing uh, different clips throughout the level. Kind of doing it vanilla. You have to remember, guys, the way it's set up, if you go for clip three and four first try, that means you have to get clip two, three, and four first try. And are we that lucky in Mario 3? Never. So you might as well base all your luck just simply on two clips and two clips alone. So I think he's going to go in the hole here. Yes, he is. All right. And his bros is going to get wall jump first try. Almost. Oh, he got first try clip. Oh, he got it! That is incredible! That is a huge point twist! I cannot believe he just got that! Holy crap! And Bros is at the same time trying to get the wall jump. That is incredible, dude. He feels really good about that. There is no point in doing this fortress, but he's going for it anyways. Is Bros just gonna try and go for the clip here? Let's see, Bros. Are you going for the clip? It's scary. He kind of went for it. He didn't try too hard for it, though. I can't believe Louis just got first. Look at his world seven. Must be nice, yo. Where's the world record uh, attempts here? There you go. All right. So Louis has to keep this fire flower until he enters Peach's chambers to get the point at the bottom. The world seven power up. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Doesn't matter if it's flower or hammer suit. Does not matter. He kept, yeah, he kept the P-speed on the stairs. Very strange. I cannot believe he got first and or third and fourth. That is such a big point swing for him.
All right, worst air. They're both on airships, killing us here, man. Jeez. I thought this was about the chat. You know, I thought this was about the fans. You guys are killing us here. Yes, I am your host, Mitch Flower Power. I am also the creator and the funder for this entire tournament. The tracker was made by yours truly, Zero Planes. And the layout of the stream was created by Gino. So you guys should give them uh, a thank you for the beautiful aesthetics. How many points for third and fourth first try clip? That was worth 1.5 points right here on the tracker because that is incredible to do. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the highest points a player has had. Uh, Teeks finished game two. What what was Teeks's highest points in one game? It was, it was, uh, he had eight or something, wasn't it? Six in the first race Teeks had, yeah. So while we are while we are on the airship, we can actually take a quick look. Uh, so Teeks right now has a total points of 13.5. He has won two games. He averages 6.75 points per game, and he is in the top eight. That is the first runner. The second runner we also have is Supersonic, with the minus one point, 15th place, and he has not won any games. All right, back to it. We got airships. Okay. Luckily, Brosis gives us something to watch while uh, Louie is in auto-scroller heaven here. Alright, Brosis. Come on, buddy. First try. Let's go. First try, Clip. You got this. Come on. Oh! He did the... He, oh, it's second try. You hate to see it. Oh, my goodness. You hate to see that, man. He deserved that 0.5. There's still lots of points for him to get in this. He, and he's almost at the hour mark. So he's really got to clean, clean these points up here. Not using a star here. He has a P-Wing. Oh, nice move. I think what he's doing is the right move here. I think this is the right move. He's going to go for safety, do the double backtrack. And he's good. Okay, that is that is a good move. All right, so, Mitch, what are the points for World 8? Well, let's find out. If they can kill the Boomerang Bro at the end of this tank without the Boomerang Bro throwing his Boomerang, then you get 0.5. It is called Rangless. It is a component of RNG. However, it only applicable to Fire Flower. But if you use Hammer Suit, if you go all the way over here, you can see on the tracker, there's a hammer suit reward. So we have a hammer suit reward and a fire flower reward, depending on which one. All right. So we're up here. We need to get the Wrangless. No hands. All right. No hands. You get 0.5. That is a big deal. If you get the elevator clip first try, that is 0.5. Neither of them are going to hammer suit, I'm guessing. And then if they keep the original power up from World 7 before the airship, because getting the power up in the airship, there's no there's no uh, risk at all involved, then they also get another point. This has been absolutely an incredible match so far, guys. We have five more games after this, four other players, and another game from these two. All right, so he's gonna use his cloud. It's a good call. All right, did he get? No, he didn't get Wrangless. He threw the boomerang. That is, uh, we we had to create RNG points for sure for uh, swings and playups. Um, I tried very very hard when I created the points to stay away from the person with the fastest time is always gonna win because that's no fun. If we were into that, why wouldn't we just do races? <clears throat> There's a reason why we don't do uh, vanilla tournaments in SMB3 because it actually kind of is no fun. Because the person who gets no hands is probably going to have the fastest time. The person who gets three hands is most likely going to lose. Oh, and Brosis making a mistake here. He's going to opt for not going... Ah, uh, you hate to see it, dude. Um, I think he just forgot to take the damage. Uh, but that's okay. It happens. And because he didn't take the damage, I don't think he can go for 7-7 either. And that is going to uh, throw him back um, a large chunk. So 
So what is he going to do here? All right, so if he does hammer suit strats, he could have um, a different kind of advantage here. So let's see what he does. I'm not sure if he's a hammer guy or if he's a fire guy, so we'll see. Okay, he's a fire guy. I don't blame him. But due to his average points per game, this is a... Oh, that was so risky. Um, if he nails clip uh, third and fourth try, this could be a pretty big swing for him in terms of his average points. Remember, guys, it's all about the points. Even if he loses his race, points to his name is still very important. Very important. All right. Everyone watch Louis. You're going to get no hands. Get your hand by your holster. You're going to pull out. Ah, the 99.9% .9 chance of hand number one. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right. Brosis is definitely going to try. Oh, well, he's going to get the power up. He's got to try for three and four, right? He knows he's running out of time. Yeah, go down there. Give it a try. All right. Here we go. Ah, oh, come on, dude. You hate to see it. So he's going to go back uh, because it actually gives him the fire flower here. Louis not getting pulled in by hand two and three, which is actually pretty good. No, 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 no. Go back and get the fuck. No, no. Uh, well, I don't think he can make it to Bowser anyways uh, with his time, it looks like. So that makes sense. It makes sense. No, I get it. I would still get it, but... It's okay, because he's going to cloud here in Music Box. He has enough time to try and get no hands. <gasps> Louie loses his Fire Flower. He does not get the point there for keeping the original power up. That is... That hurts the average. That hurts the average. He has, he has to get the uh, Fire Flower from 8-1 now. He has to get it from 8-1. If he does not get it from 8-1, he cannot fire kill Bowser. Okay. Don't oh, he was... Oh, man. I was wondering if he was going to use the star or not. That would be pretty funny. He's going to flutter his way down. Yup. All right. Oh, you're going for fast. Here we go. Top tier strategies. There you go. It has a total SMB3 chat, right? All right, this is it. Don't take damage. Do not take damage, right? Should be safe. Does he know he's going for Cloud 2? No! Oh my god. Risky business. But he went for it. So he has a Cloud to skip the Fortress, so he's going to go straight to the last auto-scroller. He is going to go straight for the last auto-scroller. He does not do the swaggy uh, menuing on level 2 and then uh, buffer movement. hes I don't think he's used to it. Uh, he'll, he'll get there, though. He'll get there. Yep, getting the getting the shoots going. So Brosis has a decision to make. Is he gonna go for no hands and then stop? Or is he just simply gonna stop? What do you guys think he's gonna do? If I was him with my time, you you cannot beat world eight in six minutes. It's not possible with the auto scrollers. So what I would do is I'd try and go through the two auto scrollers. Try and go past the hands. As soon as I get pulled in, I would get out of there. But if I didn't get pulled in, I would take the point and then that's it. I would still go for it. Yep. No hands and then stop. When you know you can't make it, you know you can't make it. But we'll see what he does. We'll see what he does here. Remember, guys, if you want all the links and all the scheduling in chat right now, type exclamation SMB3. Every single link there will give you all the information you need for this tournament. Scheduling, uh, the rules, how the points work, the challenge page, the brackets, all of that stuff right there for you. 
So when you come in and you're like, oh, what is this point mean? I'm gonna know that you didn't click on the link when you could have. So make sure you check it out, save it, so you can refer to it as many times as you want. And unfortunately, Louie does not get the elevator clip first try. That is bad. Yes, uh, so Brosis can still get Wrangless and no hands. All right, Louie, let's go. Get that kill. All right! So it looks like Louie got first place right there. And he did not get a time below 54. So he is only awarded a time slot of 60. He only got under an hour. Right there. With an official time of 52.40, or 55.42, congratulations. Alright! Total points, 6.5. Right on. Oh, did he get Wrangless? He got the Wrangless! Sorry, I, I, I have to, I have to finish talking, but yes! Brosis got the Wrangless! <laughs> that is fantastic! Right on, dude. That is that is awesome, man. The Wranglist, dude. Right at the end there. Sorry, I, I had to tell Louie his uh, points and stuff like that. Alright, so let's move over to... We got Brosis here. With my right ear. So we get to see if he gets no hands. That is the last point he can try and make here. That is the last point. If he gets no hands here, that'll be incredible. If he gets no hands here, he might not be minus points anymore because he still will get second place. But he will not get over the hour. So over the hour mark, we will have to ding him for, unfortunately. So he is minus 2.5. So let's see. Come on, baby. No hands here. Oh, he does not get it. So he got first, he got second place with a total points. So second place with total points of minus 1.5. All right. So uh, let's take a look at the challenge page while these other runners get ready. Take a take a little refresh just for just for a minute or two. So we got the challenge page right here. Hold on a sec. Yeah, let's get a little bit of music in here. Let's get a little bit of music in here while we're while we're while we're letting the runners take a take a breather. All right. So, we got the bracket pages, we got the challenge bracket pages, we got Stewie versus Zero Planes. They will be up against Calco next. Teeks has already won his first one. Um, oh yeah, in terms of maximum number of points you can get per game, uh, let's see, I guess in a different tab know. or a different window. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! All right, here they go. So let's let's scroll back up here on both the point counters. Here we go. 
So we're gonna lose we're gonna use Louie's audio because it is the better audio. Alright. They both do in the safe strat in 1-1, one, one, which pff, I don't blame you guys. I don't blame you guys. Hold on, let me, um... So, world one. Oh, they haven't used any inventory and they haven't de died. So they start off with a solid 1.5 points. Okay. So the first point to achieve in World 1 is the MFP Tunnel. Yeah, Brosis does weird scaling, but it, but it works. We made it work. It's okay. Oh, Louis not keeping his speed. Is he gonna get the tunnel though? He's got the speed here. No, oh, he does not get it. He takes damage. No, no, they both take damage. Crap, dude. That is a, you hate to see it. Oh my gosh. The tunnel, man, the tunnel. The gatekeeper of world one, I'm telling you. No one's got it yet. I think one person got it so far. Holy jumping. So they are not too far behind each other. This is incredible. What a great start to a race. Fortunately, no points. Everyone in this entire tournament is opting for the no inventory stars. This is crazy. Alright, here we go. Auto scrollers. So what do we got next here? We got 292 in 22 and the fire kill on the boss with a 221. Did Louis just fireball the dog? Yes, he did. Hey, a star a star will help you with uh 441. There are so for anyone wondering, there are definitely a few better strategies. Um, that Louie and Brosis are not actually using. I know some strategies that some of the other runners have told me about. Um, that they plan on using that I can already see based on last game that are a little bit better than what uh, these two have used for this match. However, those better strategies do not involve the uh, Wendy, the 210 Wendy and the uh, 441. So we'll see how this is going. Look at how close they are. Look at how close they are. This is incredible. All right, here we go. So they both need the 292 upon entering the pipe in 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> dude, we, we want to see the Wendy, dude. We should make the Wendy one point, but it's too late now. The tournament has started all for season two. Uh, for anyone wondering, the cash prize for this tournament, first place, $500. Uh, you cannot use Raccoon Tail for the off-screen wand grab. That's why uh, the off-screen wand grab is worth so many points. It has to be the authentic. Yes, and Brosis unfortunately taking that damage there. That is going to cost them the reward at the end. All right, 296. 295, 294, 293, is he gonna make it? Oh, he just missed it. No. Oh, dang it. And Brosis not being able to secure it either, dude. Ah, oh, they are so close for that. 
Holy, that is one of the hardest points in the game. However, he still has his power up and he just got a movement of four. Oh my God, should he go for... Guys, what would you do? Would you go for early hammer? This is early hammer. I wouldn't go for it because if it's a one death, he might be able to get post two, three. Post two, three would be pretty clutch. You do not need P-Speed for 292, no. You can almost get a 293 without P-Speed. All right, get the mushroom, get the mushroom. That's pretty good. All right, he's in the door, here we go. No, he didn't, the hammer didn't even show up anyways. But the hammer could have moved down, so we could still see the hammer brother after this level. Yeah, get out of here, Teeks. Okay. So what have we got so far? No one's died, and no one's got any uh, in-world rewards yet. But in terms of time, they're not far behind. As you guys know, there's so many different swings that we could do here. Ah, oh, that's the hammer right there. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a good strategy to get the music box in World 2? Uh, an authentic off-screen wand grab is getting a wall jump after you kill the boss and jumping up to the top of the screen and then uh, grabbing the wand. It's the more difficult version of off-screen wand grab. When you when you use yeah, it's a wall jump. When you use a P wing, it, the off-screen wand grab is super easy, and and people would just waste their P wings on it all the time, and so it would just be a nonsensical, uh, like meta, I guess. So we, I'm trying to differ from making sure people do the exact same things over and over again. Type in exclamation SMB3 if you want all the information on the rules and the, how the points work, the standings, first, second place, prizes, also the brackets, everything. E exclamation SMB3. All right. So they're both opting to take the fast route here. Uh, luckily for Louis, the hammer is right in his way. He actually, Louis is actually, you know, aside from getting the movement of four, he has the most optimal world two right here. So feels good, man, on that part right there. And he's getting movements of one, so. But Brosis is also getting uh, optimal world two with uh, where he moves in the world and the correct levels that he's doing. However, he did lose that fire flower. Um, Louis is definitely going to get the 221 on the in-game tire timer boss fight here. Um, so when, when these two opponents are fighting the boss in World 2, you want to look at the in-game timer, and if it's higher than a 221 or a 221 itself, you get the 0.5 there. So pretty good there. Alright. So here we go. They are very close to each other in terms of time, but as you guys know, this is not fully about time. However, you do get a lot of points if you nail if you nail a 51 right here or a 52 like those are some pretty big points. All right. We got World 2 next is up is the fire kill. I don't think Brosis is comfortable with the boss fight, but you want to know what's interesting about Brosis taking damage early? He can now opt for a lot more points. Like why wouldn't he go for Wendy? You know, as long as he doesn't die. Um, however, I will say, anyone in chat right now who is in this tournament, if you are going to go for that Wendy, make sure you practice it. Make sure you practice it. Jank-ass Wendy. It, hey, man, it happens. All right, everyone watch Louis' screen right now. And make sure you watch the in-game timer. He needs to get a 221 or higher. 221 or higher, here we go. Three, 22, 21, nailed it. He got it, congratulations to Louie for getting the 221 or higher. Gets that point right there. Gets the point five. All right, Bros' turn. Is he comfortable with the fight? Let's find out. Oh, and he got launched, he had it too, dude. He had it. Unfortunately, if he jumped a little bit earlier, he would have nailed it. So close, dude. So close, man. That was incredible. He does not get the point, but holy crap, he worked hard for it. He made it work, man. That's incredible. 
Do the final time points stack? Uh, elaborate a little bit more. Like, individual races? Uh, you are rewarded individually for what time bracket you get in, and then first and second place. You are rewarded, yes. Yo, yes, Haxer and Dave Lindo on Tuesday. So we have races every day coming up. All right. First frame jump. No, neither of them get the first frame jump. That is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I did not see Louie get the first frame jump. Can we get a confirmation in chat? I didn't see it. I don't think you guys saw it either. Letting these points pass them by. You, they're just letting these points pass. What? It's a single frame jump. What do you think? That's hard? 1 60th of a second? Come on, man. <laughs> no, it's very, very difficult. All right, Brosis. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Brosis. Oh! <laughs> what? There is no points for randomly going through blocks. There is no points for that. I am sorry. You do not get any points. Oh, I'm making mistakes here. I get out of there. Yeah, that is a nightmare down there. That is a nightmare. All right. Oh, and he gets the fanfare. Ouch, you hate to see it. All right, is he gonna go for door three? Is it a door three? No! Oh! He gets it! Congratulations on the door three! Feels good, man! Holy jump, it feels good. Gets rewarded 0.5 for getting the door three. Look at that, dude. Oh, water battle. He should he should be losing points for the water battle, but he's not. It's okay. Only teasing. Oh, don't get eaten. Boss Bass is hungry. Oh! <gasps> Is Louie gonna get run away, bro? Look at him, he's tilted, he's scared, he doesn't even know, he's messing up his jumps. He does not want run away, bro. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, is Brosis gonna get the task for the- Okay, door three for Brosis. Let's go. Come on, Brosis, door three, get some po- What? He took a death! Ouch, not rewarded, and the death. What even happened? He was Big Mario, how did he die? Ooh, yo, Louie got- Ah, you hate to see it. And he... Ah, he does not get door three either. Dude, this is so chaotic right now. I love this right now. So much is happening. Louis got runaway, bro. Which means he's got to do this auto-scroller. That is a sad face right there. You hate to see it. Oh, shooting through... Shooting through the wall there. Love to see that. Getting, getting green blocked right here. Oh, look at that. Uh, Bros is actually kind of getting a pretty decent combination of bros. He did get movements of two, which sucks. But if the Hammer Brother moves left here, uh, that's actually pretty good in his uh, position. Uh, unfortunately not. He's going to opt. Oh my gosh. Did Louis really just go for like a 0.2 time save in an auto scroller that could really destroy his runs? Uh, Bros is gonna get the fire flower here. Ooh, those are the swag strats I'm talking about. That's right. Right on. Ooh, the swag kill. Double swag kill. Killing the spiny too, the little spiny egg. All right. Water battle, unfortunately, but he does have to go for the kill here. And he gets it. Right on. So Louis is missing a star, but he's not using them anyway, so I don't think he cares. He died. Brosis is just remembering, oh crap, I died. So he's gonna opt for the other death again. Oh my gosh, Louis losing his fire flower, so he does not keep the reward. Oh man, and he does not get the H jump. That happens, guys. That happens to all of us. Unfortunately, he just... That reward, guys, that's why it's worth three points, guys. That's why this is worth three points right here. Keeping that power up the entirety the World 6 of when you first uh, officially lose it. Fire bonus is hard. 
You know, I made that point and the expense of that point like way before we had tried these, so this is a good point. Good job, Mitch. My opinion on seeing that? Oh man, you ate to see it. You ate to see it. All right. All right. I think Brosis is making the right play here. Um, I don't think there's anywhere else he can get a Fire Flower power-up. Is there one in the water section? I'm not sure. So here's here's gonna be the thing. Is Louie... Because he already took damage. Why not? Who cares? Is he gonna go for the Wendy kill? I want to see someone nail that Wendy kill. Uh, I have seen... I know Teeks... I know Teeks has, um... Yes, that's right. Out of death. Yes. Good call. I have seen Teeks um, get the no the fire flower in a run. Don't worry, guys. I got the death there. All right. So keep your eyes on Louis' screen right now. Is he actually going to go for the Wendy? I would. He already took damage. Why not? He did almost get it last time. So it seems like the strategy is going to shoot him nine times with fireballs, stomp him twice, get those rings out, and go for the last kill. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Stomp. One ring out. Stomp. Two rings out. No! Oh! <laughs> Same thing! I cannot believe this! Same thing! Holy crap, man. I cannot believe the same thing had just happened to him. Holy crap. Now, in my opinion, from what I saw, from what I saw, after he stomped on the second time, he should have got out of that corner. You gotta get it. Everything was aiming to the left side. I don't know why he stayed there, but it's a panic and a half, man. It's a struggle. All right. Is Bros just gonna go for it? The stomp, stomp, get the rings out, wait the timer out. Let's see. Stomp. Get the second stomp. All right, two rings are coming out. <clears throat> no, he's ending it. Good call. He took damage. Get the heck out of there. All right, they are much closer in terms of race now. <clears throat> yeah, doing the safe strat. He doesn't have Fire Flower, so he can't opt for his faster strat. Well, Louis doesn't get any points, so it wasn't really well done on Louis's part. He did mess it up. He does not get the points, and he lost his Fire Flower. He did try, but it unfortunately, unfortunately, he failed. That's two times with the ex both times he did it, he got the same outcome. But props for him to trying it. That's right. Safe can net you points later. Exactly. Does the double block grab to guarantee fast strats in four two? All right, Brosis, here we go. If I was Brosis, I'd get this. I'd get this uh, Cooper right here, and I would get the mushroom right here. No, okay, he's not going for the mushroom. Oh, touch the pipe, not getting pe- Is he gonna get this mushroom? No, he's going top, okay. Ooh, moving a four for Louie. You ate to see it, guys. All right, how do they do this, guys, with that fire flower? Let's find out. You just do the, uh, yeah, you just do the simple jumps. Uh, there's no punishment for game over. I think the game overing is uh, punishment enough. Not there you okay, you love to see it. There you go. Get them. Oh He did the jump over instead of the run under if he ran under he'd get peace speed a little earlier. Oh, oh He's getting fished get out of there. Okay. He's safe. All right All right, he's safe God, I'm squeezing my water bottle so tight did Louie just get screwed over did he just get it? No, he got the cloud, but the first one, the first one was the Starbro, was it not? Boom. Minus 0.5 for Starbro on Louis's side. Oh my god, and it looks like Brosis has used the star, does not get the uh, no star reward. Take that away. Take away his points, sir. Let's scroll down because we are past the first two worlds. First three worlds, actually. You hate to see it, man. These big swings, guys. You know, and it, a lot of people, oh, I'm, you know, I'll just music box in World 4. I'll skip the bro every time. Not when this happens. That's why the point's there, man. 
All right, he uses the hammer. He's going to go for what bro is this? This would be the cloud. So I would get this hammer, brother. He is. That is a smart play right there. You get the hammer, brother, anyways. There's no point in using the music box. All right, is Brosis going to get sniped? This is a scary. Don't. I wouldn't. Oh. What? Why is it going that way? It doesn't matter. He is. All right, he got it. Okay, he's good. Oh, oh, there we go. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like Louie's going to clutch his way out of this world. Unfortunately, getting punished there. None of them are going for the ass point. The ass point five. You want to get the ass point, man. That's a that's a juicy point. Ooh, the under grab. That's pretty good, if you ask me. The juicy, yeah. All right, music box. What? What? Ah! Is this the P-Wing? It's not the star of the punishment! No music box. Getting punished on Brosis' side. We have a four-point swing here. Maybe Brosis doesn't know which direction they face. Who knows? Either way, looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good right here. Yeah, Brosis, he's thinking to himself, you know what, I'm going. Alright, looks like they are both going to be on the airship at least at the same time with their fire flowers. So pretty good. So this is going to be really hard to um, double check for movements of four. So I'm going to have to really focus there, guys. So commentator is going to have to go. <laughs> no, I don't think these runners forgot to check their 360s. I don't I don't think they they did not forget to check for Pooh Bear. The B Rock Brosis B Rock is that eh, would be fine. Looks like Brosis to me. Brosis 420. Yo, B Rock! All right, they're both on the auto scroller, so let's do a refresh here for the challenge page. Do not forget, guys. Later today, right after this race, we actually have uh, Narfman and Cobra going first. <clears throat> then after them, we have Zero Planes and Stewie. Should be pretty exciting. All right. Uh, we have, we. We were running out of time. This is the fastest auto scroller there is, so we got lots of time. We have no time. Going for the fire kill, nailing it. Well, yeah, I hate auto scrollers so much that we, have, there, you know, there's so many things we can do for auto scrollers here, right? All right, coming in hot for world five. Do not fall down the shaft of despair. Do not fall down the shaft of despair. Jesus clip, no moves of four. So we can hear movements of four, but we're gonna have to focus pretty hard. No, you do not use uh, P-Wing for off screen wand grab. That would be just too easy and it would be uh, pointless meta for points. <clears throat> All right, coming in clean with 5-1. They are not far behind in terms of time. Oh, Bros is getting scared there. I don't blame him. Oh, coming in clutch with the fire kill. Right on. All right, we got a movement of two there. Not a movement of four, so he's pretty safe. Alright. Did not fall down the shaft of despair, so he is safe. You do not want to fall down in this level, because if you fall down, you get punished. We saw we saw one runner in the last race fall down. Hey guys, with the coronavirus and everything going around right now, 
Uh, winning money during uh, playing video games at a time like this is very good. Uh, I already qualify by having the world record in this in uh, any SMB3 warpless. I've got the fastest. I would qualify by default. Um, but no, I do not want to enter these tournaments. I am the creator, the funder, the founder, and the hoster. I get to watch everyone else suffer. I suffered for 10 years. Now it's their turn. <laughs> I love watching this. This is a lot of fun. Is he gonna fall down? No, he did not fall down the shaft of despair. Love to see it. All right. Louis opted to use the music box. I think that's a pretty good play here. All right, so I gotta focus, guys, on the Hammer Brother movements here, so. No movements of four yet. No movements of four. Is he gonna use a music box? He is not using a music box. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see if Teek's got, or let's see if Louie got a movement of four. I don't think he did. No, he is safe in the movements of four. Uh, he's safe for now. Guaranteed no movement of four after this level. He's guaranteed safety. Oh! Brosis just got a movement of four. You hate to see it. No reward there. Movement of three is not a movement of four. He is safe. He is safe. He does not get the reward of- Oh! Taking the damage! He's already taking damage, so he knows he's going for Jesus Clip anyways. Yeah, you hate to see it, dude. You hate to see it. He definitely got that movement of four. Alright. However, Jesus Clip will bring Brosis to a solid one point here. That is- <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that's fantastic. You tried to go for the keep P speed strategy a little bit harder than you thought. It is not easy. But <clears throat> still giving props to try it. Ooh, that spiny will never hit you, but it is still clenchy. It's still very clenchy. Louis, oh, Louis has not lost a life yet. That is correct. So he might not go for Jesus Clip. He needs to go for this hammer, brother, though. Movement of three is not movement of four, you guys. So he's still safe. And Brosis already got a movement of four, so he cannot be rewarded with that. All right, is he going to go for it? No, he's not. That very That is a smart play. However, however, Brosis has got nothing to lose here. So, I mean, he might as well go for it. I want, I need to see someone get this Jesus clip. And, and do the, a big swing here. We need a big swing. We need a big, big swing. Ah, moving a four. You hate to see it. This is game two. That is correct. All right, here we go. Is he going to go for Jesus Clip? Come on. Come on, get it. I just want someone to get it. <clears throat> All right, he's out of this world, and he did not get a movement of four. Congratulations. Point five awarded to Louie. All right, Jesus Clip. Come on, buddy. Oh, he was so close again. I can't believe that! Unfortunate. He gets another death there. And that's what you have to lose. He was so close. I don't know how he didn't get it.
Sorry about that. Just had to, um, I think what we're going to do is that we're going to update the uh, layout uh, for later races to have a game one or game two slot there. So people coming in can instantly see if it's game one or game two. So I just wanted to uh, try and remember that, write that down. All right. I do not think I have missed anything. Unfortunately, Brosis did get a movement of four, but he looks like he's coming in clutch. Coming in smooth. He's the cloud. He is not in the situation he was in last time, so he is definitely doing much better this race. Should add my name? Nah, people know who I am. I'm fine. Commentator always Mitch. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. They'll be fine. I'm, I also read chat as well during these tournaments, so if people ask, I can just say it's me. That would be fine. Knowing if it's game one or two is way more important. Yeah, we'll, we'll update the layer. Don't worry, guys. We got it under control. All right. So, unfortunately, neither of them have kept the first power-up, so they do not get rewarded the three points. Now, remember, you only get the, you get the three points as soon as you lose your Fire Flower on the spikes in the fortress. So, if you lose it on this Hammer Brother battle, that does not count. You are out. All right, here we go. Fortress, he's going clean, he's going strong. Brosis is not that far behind. It is actually incredible. It is actually incredible how, how like, the, the, the time spread is way more enjoyable, I find, in this tournament so far. Is he gonna get the upside down orb? He is gonna get the upside down orb. We got the orb! Right on. Congratulations on getting that orb. Alright, what are we looking at next? He needs first try wall jump. He skipped both the Hammer Brothers in World 5, so he might... He might need to, uh... Ooh, is he gonna take top path? No, he's safe. Um, he might need to go for the wall jump. That's Louie. All right, using that P-Wing, going for the super... Oh, <laughs> Rosis is like, oh my gosh, it must be nice to actually be able to use the hammer that I was supposed to have. Okay, is he going to go for the despawn strats? And he nailed it. Definitely nailed it. Definitely, definitely nailed it. Now, does Brosis know the backup strat where you uh, you pop the power up, you jump and grab the leaf, and then you jump over? You'd hate to see a death here, but does he know it? Looks like... Oh, he went for it, obviously, but he um, got a little scared here. Louis needs to get the top, bro. He's got a 50-50 here to see if the other Hammer Brother moves up. If he moves up, that is... Sounds like something that will happen to me. Ooh, he's taking the damage because he wants to go fast. And Louis getting good luck on his side. Must be nice. Never seen that before. Bros is going to get the upside down orb. Awesome. Right on. That was an awesome orb! Right on, congratulations guys. Getting those orbs going. Alright, is Louie gonna go for the wall jump though? It looks like he is, because he took damage there. Uh, that I find that actually strange uh, to take the damage there. That might have been a missed A press, we're not sure. We are not sure. Oh, watch out. Do not go. Yeah, okay, good. I was going to say, do not go in that pocket. Is he going to get the turtle here? Yes, he is. All right. That is a good strat. Is he going to P-Wing or... I don't know what he's doing right now. This is not how he wanted... And it went right through him. This is not how he wants this level to go. And he is not taking damage. He does not want to go for that wall jump. He might be... Um, He might not be familiar with the wall jump. It's very possible. Oh, Brosis. He's still got the despawn. That's pretty good. Yeah, he's going to use the P-Wing. He say, he, You know what? He's saying to himself, I have a much higher chance of getting first try clip in 7-6 than I do uh, getting the uh, wall jump. So he's going to go... No, he's going to opt out for that. So it turns out Brosis does know the direction of the Hammer Brothers. Uh, I think he got confused in World 4. Uh, World 4, it's hard to know. 
Uh, but however, we do have an extra power up here on Louis' side. So is he going to go for the clip? Let's find out. Oh, I thought he got it. Holy crap, man. That scared me. All right, so what is Brosis going to do here then? What is Brosis going to hear? They're actually pretty close. If I was Brosis, I would definitely try and go for the Well, it depends. I don't I don't know uh ooh, that is Ooh, that is even worse. Get nipped in the butt, gonna have to take that death. All right, he's he's coming back. He's, he's warmed up now. He's warmed up for this level. He took a training course. Uh, did his training course get him to this point? I don't know. He's taking the damage. Getting the P-Speed. He is gonna go for wall jump. Dude, if he gets this wall jump, that is awesome. That is incredible. So let's find out. Is he going to get the wall jump? Louie not getting the clip. Oh, he wants to get it a second time just for, for the funsies. Is he going to go for the wall jump? He is going for the wall jump. Let's see. Oh, man. He had me going there. Oh, you... Dude, Brosis got wall jump second try. And in last run, he got 7-1 second try. Holy crap, not on his side. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Might have a little bit of splicing on our hands. I don't know why anyone would splice at this point, but... Nah, we're just kidding. He's fine. So, if you guys watch Louie, he's going to do some weird movements to set up for subpixel manipulation. There you go. He got it. He... I don't know if he's on... He could be on subpixel 7. Who knows? All right. Bros is coming in clutch, finishing up World 6 here. He is doing much better than last time. Yeah, he did a big movement there. I, I don't know how I uh, how I feel about that. But uh, I would definitely say Louis is very good at the 0 to 6 subpixel manipulation for first strike clip. Uh, Bros is sitting there. Um, he had an itch or maybe picking his nose. I'm not sure which one he was doing there. But well, let's watch Louis. First try. And he nails it. First try, 7-1 clip. Must be nice. How does that feel, you guys? Right on. Right on. He nailed it, dude. He freaking nailed it, you guys. All right. So since we got a couple buffer levels here, I'm going to go and double check. Make sure the other runners. Uh, okay. All right. Looking good. All right, making sure the next two racers are ready to go because this race is coming to an end. There's still lots of points to, to gather in these. Lots of World 8 points, lots of World 7 points. It looks like a slight route meta has already been created so far within the last races we have seen, so this is incredible. This is incredible. Brosis is a little too far for that wand. There we go. All right. He nailed it. He made it. All right. He's going to use a P-Wing, it looks like. That's right. And then I think he's going to... So his... It looks like Louis' strategy is he's, he wants to get that 7-6 clip first try. He wants to get revenge. He did not get a first try last time. It looks like both of these runners are going to be hitting clips at the same time. So this is going to get... We're going to get a doozy here. All right, he's going to go for the manipulation. Move forward one pixel. Little slight tap to guarantee you're above three and ten. All right, Brosis. Come on, buddy. Let's go. 
Oh, he does not get it and accidentally entered the level. Is Louis gonna get first try clip? And he missed it with a little bit of the premature jump right there. Brosis doesn't know what to do here. He's never been in this situation before. Is it, do I beat the level? Do I take damage and die? If he takes damage and die, he can't clip. Louis managing to get the clip. Louis is not having some good 7-6 clip first try here. All right, Bros is doing the dope strat. You clip, then jump. Nailed it. Ooh, he could have actually jumped off of that one little block there. For some reason, that works. And it looks like Louis is going to go for 7-7 seven, seven here. Is he going to nail it? Watch him get a first try. Boy, that wouldn't that bite. Oh, he almost got it. He needs to get some revenge here. He needs to get it within uh, 45 tries or so, and then he's uh, beating his last run. Let's see how well he does. Dude, Brosis could get first place here. Especially if he doesn't go for this. He could get first place in time. That's a good chunk of points. It looks like... Oh, using a... Oh, he already lost the star point. That's actually a pretty good idea. That's a good idea. It looks like Louis decided to let his five-year-old sister try the clip. Not a good idea, if you ask me. Don't think the five-year-olds really know exactly how hard this clip is. Perhaps she should give the controller back to him. Um, because he does... $500 is on the line for this. I would never hand the controller off to my little sister for this. This is not a good idea. Definitely not be doing that. Put the sandwich down, Louie! Come on, man. You, you, how, you can't do this with one hand. First the sister, now you're eating the sandwich? Come on, buddy. What's going on here? I'm, I'm single-handedly watching your opponent catch up to you. Time is running out! You're doing worse than last time! Come on, buddy! You need this! Louie! Dude, the crack-like music does not help the adrenaline right now. Does not help. This is incredible right now. Come on, Louie! Ah! I feel like he's gonna get it and accidentally jump out at this point. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna stop at like 30 seconds so he doesn't get the death punish? Oh, dude, he loses 1.5 if he dies here. Holy crap, this is... <laughs> My water bottle can't handle this. He had it! Okay, Bros, this is turn at first try, 7-6. Let's go, is he gonna get it? Oh, that jump right there, what are you aiming for? The pipe is further back, Louie, what's happening? Is Bros is gonna get first try clip? Bros is gets first try clip and he gets rewarded for the first try clip. Bros is finally saying to himself, Finally, I got something. Finally, I got something. Bros is with the first try clip. Louis finally gets the clip. He's got 15 seconds left. Can he make it? And he makes it with 12 seconds left on the clock. Absolutely incredible. I cannot believe what I just saw. Bros is now going for the 7 7. Is he gonna get it faster? They don't know where their opponents are, so this is a risk. Brosis, he's going for it. He doesn't know, he doesn't know, but he's trying to get these points. So let's hope Brosis gets this soon. Big time save at, an, at any point. All right, Louis going down for clip three and four. He got it last time. Will he get it this time? He got first try, is he gonna get the second? <laughs> what? Who is this guy? He just got the exact same World 7s. What in the actual heck is this robot? He just spent day and night trying to get 7-7 seven, seven and then nails again. That's 1.5. His average points per game right now is incredible because of that. Holy crap. I can't, dude, I can't handle this. This is incredible. Oh my goodness. All right, Brosis. I mean, he, Brosis, you can't do any worse than Louie here. You got... You got a minute here to, to get this. Oh, and he accidentally enters, but he's still, he's still saving time on Louie here with that. Holy crap. Brosis not giving his five-year-old sister the controller. I think that ended up being the right decision, whether you clip or not. So I think that's actually pretty good here. 
Oh no, he got the flub. Watch out for the piranha. Okay, he's good. Okay, we gotta watch out for that piranha plant, man. That's that's some scary stuff. Yes. All right. All right, original power up for Louis. He has his original power up. Rosis in the same situation. Use it a P wing. That is a good idea. Fly right up, man. He only has to worry about clip three and four. Here we go. All right, everyone, watch Brosis side. He's he's doing a strat there. Get first top clip, top block, bottom block. All right, here we go. He's not even going for it. That is. Is he gonna go for this fire flower? Is he gonna go back? I would have went back. All right, all right. I mean, he's not too far behind. Right? They're both on the airship at the same time. This is incredible. <clears throat> this is incredible, right? Music box cloud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Not too bad. He is a solid two minutes behind, so we do have to see. He does need points, which is why he definitely should have tried the 7-9, but that's okay. Maybe he wants to just get it done. All right, going for the stomp kill. This is a randomizer, so you don't have to worry about him jumping six skyscrapers in the air. You're all right. Holy crap, Louie and his World 7s. I... Honestly, I want to see this World 7 come back and bite him in the ass later in future races, because this is inc incredible. It does matter. Your points do matter for future races, future seasons. The points you accumulate in your first two games, even if you're knocked out of the bracket, those points will still represent your rating. Still very important. All right. So we're going to need some Wranglis here. Ah, luckily Louis in good sport. He'll he'll take the joke. Okay, so it looks like they can both win the reward for World 7 power up. Keeping that power up, they both are keeping it as long as they don't take damage. They're good. Uh they have Wranglis, no hands, elevator skip. And their time reward and first and second. So let's see. All right. So we're gonna want to watch. We're gonna want to watch Louis' screen first because he's gonna be the first at uh, at approaching everything. Uh, Wrangless hands, unless. Dude, imagine getting no hands and then dying on the airship or something. Oh, boy. You'd still get the no hands reward, but... Louis does not want to take a death here or use a star. That His point, his average points per game will get hurt really hard. It'll, he'll take big damage there. Even if he takes damage here, he did cloud the fortress. So they do have to do fort, the fort in, in this world. All right, is he going to get Wrangless? Let's find out. Come on, Wrangless. I want everyone to get as many points as they can. Ah, he got Wrangless! Unbelievable! Another point five. Absolutely incredible. All right, here we go. It is Bros' turn to get that Wrangless. All right, guys, in chat, I need you to spam. How many hands do you think Louie's gonna get? How many hands do you guys think Louie is going to get? He wants none. He wants zero hands.
Okay, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like Louie might bop the Teeks for uh, points in game two. We're gonna see. All right, here comes the hands. What's he got? What's happening? I'm nervous. Is he gonna get the 99? Oh! He got hand three. That was so close. Is Brosis gonna get Wrangless? No Wrangless for Brosis, unfortunately. Holy crap, man. On the edge of my seat there. Is he got... Dang it. Do, 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 do. All right, it's Brosis' turn at the hands. Ooh, that backward swag strat. Right on. I, lo I always love a good backward swag strat. You love to see it, right? Love to see it. Hey man, some weird stuff could happen, dude. If something really weird happened, it, I, Bros is taking a first place here would be really good. However, it's the uh, total amount of points between both races wins this match. <clears throat> All right, here we go. However, Bros is quite far behind in time. I don't think he's gonna be able to clutch that first place. All right, how many hands do you guys think Brosis is gonna get? Let's find out. You're gonna hate to see it if he gets no hands. Wasting it on a time like this. How many hands for Brosis? Oh, the 99.9 gate. Oh, man. Not having a good time. All right. Louis is catching major points here in World 8, especially if he takes no damage and gets first try uh, elevator clip. That will be absolutely incredible. Oh, same thing. He only got one hand. Grats to Brosis. That is incredible. Right on. All right, we have found Bowser. <clears throat> we have found Bowser. Not taking any damage yet. <clears throat> you have to remember, um, Brosis can still get rewarded with that as well. Which is a pretty big reward, it's one point. All right, now don't lose it. Don't lose it, bud. We still have two more matches after this, guys. As soon as this one's done, I'm gonna set up for the next one. That's two games between two other people. And after that, we still have another one. We have another four games left, guys. Don't worry, I got you guys on your Sunday. Ooh, not using a star here. I think he's pretty comfortable with this level. As long as he doesn't take damage. Oh, commentator's curse. Why did I say anything? I feel like that was my fault right there. Ooh, not getting the duck taking damage. Don't die. Get that one up for safety, you know, you never know. Can he make that jump? He makes it, right on. Congratulations. <gasps> Plays it smart, man. That was a smart move. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's getting gated here. He can't, he can't, I've never seen that before. That is incredible. All right, eyes on Louis screen. Eyes on Louis screen. Is he going to get the elevator clip? Let's find out. And he does not get it. Very unfortunate. Yeah, eight to see it. Eight to see it. Now, he could take damage on Bowser. I highly doubt it, though, but it's possible.
All right, he could get a Bowser troll ball. I don't think so, though. It looks like it. No, he's good. Okay. Oh, he missed the fireball. Okay, he made it. All right. Uh, he did not take damage. So, Louis gets rewarded for the, the, the power up from World 7. First place, 60 minutes. 10 points. Holy crap. He gets the 10 points. That is incredible. Oh, Brosis, he wants to go for the double door. Go for the double door. Congratulations to Louie. He is going to advance into the next set of matches in the brackets with a 10 score. Holy crap, dude. That is incredible. <clears throat> Excuse me there. I, don't, I can't even... <laughs> What's going on there with me? That is incredible. All right. Race countdown. Total of 10 points. Game two. First place. Incredible. We are short for time, guys. So unfortunately, we are not going to be doing interviews. I apologize, guys, but the um, Mario Kart has already uh, kind of uh, brought us back a little bit. So what we're going to do is, as soon as Brosis finishes, we are going to change the scene. I'm going to mute myself. We're going to play a little bit of Mario music, and I'm going to set up the next two racers as fast as I possibly can, and we can get right in there. So... <clears throat> Now's your chance guys to get a drink go to the bathroom kiss your loved ones do what you got to do um, So unfortunately we do not do the interview Dude, I wonder if Brosis didn't go for 7-7 seven, seven. I wonder what would happen if Brosis didn't go for 7-7. Oh, I, I might have some food brought for me too. I didn't get a chance to eat the sandwich. Now it's all a little hard. So we'll see what happens. I'm very hungry. All right. Okay, Brosis. He can still get awarded a point for his time slot second place. And if he gets elevator skip. Come on, Brosis. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. I'm punching my hand. I'm nervous. Come on, get the elevator clip. Oh, he's not even going for it! Oh! I, that is very questionable. It happens, though, I guess. Maybe he he's said to himself, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. Let, look at him. He's... Come on! He's trolling now. He's done. He is not happy. It happens, though. I mean, I get it. You gotta feel for them, man. It happens. I very, very much appreciate him for uh, participating. That is, I very, very much appreciate it. Ooh, going for the balance kill strat. Uh, you can't shoot him from down there. You're gonna have to do the old weight strats. All right, there you go. Oh, wrong way. Come on. How many more hits is left? Die, Bowser. There we go. Congratulations. Okay. So he is warded with the under one hour and second place. There you go. Minus 0.5. Brosis with second place of minus 0.5. Second place with minus 0.5. Is he reload? Did he just reload a safe state there? Oh no, we're oh it re the stream reloaded. Okay. I was like, what the heck was that? I've never even seen that before. Oh, his stream ended. He just stopped streaming right away. Right on. Actually insane to watch. <laughs> 